Lachella Long, welcome to the Empower Network TV. You are the first person to be interviewed. Now, you're a long haul truck driver. So you're actually on the road in your cab, driving on the road, and you're the first person. So welcome here. This is so fun. Thank you. Okay. So now you are a motivational speaker. You're also like, you're getting into coaching in this. So let's take us on your journey. Where does it start? Um, so I, I was in a seven year marriage and I was taking a lot of stuff, not realizing why. And I just had to go to child, childhood trauma, um, being abused, you know, molested by my brother, um, and, uh, you know, being raped at 14 and, you know, it got, I got into a lot of things because of it and I wasn't getting the love and stuff from home. So I was, I was damaged and suppressing it and still trying to, um, live life. And at 16, um, homeless, cause my mom chose, you know, men over her kids. So like I've been on my own since 16 and I have three beautiful babies I have two girls and one boy um been divorced since 2020 and everything I've been through I've learned these past two years in healing that you know everything we go through because I'm big on God um everything we go through is for somebody else and it's, it's purpose involved and it's you know the purpose is to push the pain and to help develop us and grow us and everything in life is a choice. We could stay stuck where we're at or we could make everything that we went through, you know, use it as fuel to keep us pushing. Wow. Wow. You just said a whole lot there. Wow. You've been through it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, now, so now you come through all that and you're the long haul truck driver and you've been getting into motivational speaking and, soon, and coaching. So. Uh, someone, you said Nadia or someone invited you to the Empower Network? I think it, I think it was Nadia. I got to get her name um, after this because it's, it's in a, it's my messenger. Okay. For so sure. She invites you and you're like, sure, I'll join these, this crazy crew of people. Let's see what this is about. <laughs> and so where are you right now? Where are you driving? What state are you in? I'm in PA. Okay. Pennsylvania. Okay. Now, and so you're, you go the Northeast coast. What's your route take you? Um, right now I'm trying out the East, but right now with it being like the recession and stuff and everything is like low right now, I'm trying not to drive too far to save, you know, on fuel and all that. Cause it, it, it costs more going cross country than to stay in regional in one area. Cause I'm a um, owner operator. I just, I just, I just now got my own truck. Okay. Wow. You got your own truck. Yeah. So. Um, well, so you got three babies and you you got three beautiful kids and you're an owner operator and you're getting into coaching. You're, you're already a motivational speaker. And so um, you're drawn to the Empower Network TV. Are you looking to connect with people here? What's your What's your big reason why you're here? Yeah, I would love, once you put me in a group and I, I, I join one of y'all lives, like, yeah, I would love to connect with people because I feel like that everything is, is, by, is divine appointment and I feel like everything, it, ha it has purpose and that's the only way we can network um, by being in certain groups. It's all about just getting us together, you know, our mindsets and everything and where we're at in life to be able to open up and communicate with each other. Because like at first, but the longest, like I was trying to do everything by myself and realizing like, I don't have to do everything by myself. Mm. Yeah. There's strength in numbers, that's for sure. So after going through what you've gone through, your story, man, like, do you ever have people reaching out to you say, Lachella, how in the world did you get through that? How did you rise up? Um, yeah, so like I got on TikTok like middle of last year and I started telling my story and a lot of people was like, you know, it motivated them. 
And for the past two years, when I started my healing journey, everybody was telling me, they're like, you're going to be a motivational speaker. And I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> like, I don't know, for the whole two years, then two years later, <laughs> I'm walking in. <laughs> I'm like, okay, God, that was you telling me. So I'm walking in and now. Yep. Isn't it amazing how we get the messages before we even realize it sometimes? Mm-hmm. Well, we're thrilled you're here. What, what is 2023 going to hold for you then? Like, um, what, what's in your sights this year? Um, I had plans, but God had to show me that those plans weren't my plans. <laughs> so then having the wrong people around as well, like, I'm like, I'm progressing, then I'm not progressing. But he had to work with me and deal with me to, like, this season is slow down. Um, and he made me realize that I was moving so fast due to the responsibilities of everybody else that I wasn't living for me still. I was still, you know, trying to get it, chasing the money, and that wasn't it. And that's why I was failing before, because... I was taking care of everybody else and I taking care of myself. So this year, you know, he it's like he was just saying, no, it's free will. But at the same time, it's I got to put myself first. So I've been trying to get in my word more and not chase what I wanted to chase, but where he has me going to and me being in a truck, it helps because when I have to be off, um, instead of being in, sitting somewhere nine to five, not able to travel and being stuck, like being over the road and owner operator, Wherever he needs me, I can take off at any time. So it's like, I'm not chasing the money no more. So it's like, no matter what I make, like I'm cool making less now to get where he wants me to go. Cause I know he's going to provide everything. So I'm just on the journey of right now, trusting him. Wow. Wow. It's almost like your name is like faith freight. <laughs> <laughs> All aboard. I love it. I love it. Well, we're thrilled you're here. Like, how can we support you here at the Empower Network TV? What can we do to help you? Um, I know I'm, the biggest thing right now is breaking out of, and that's why I want to be around, you know, um, getting out of my shell and the people that I'm around because you can't grow that way. You got to grow with people that's on the same mindset. So I'm just trying to be around a lot of, you know, like-minded mindset people that that's actually want to grow because there's so many people that say they'll help you, but really don't. And that's the biggest thing that I struggled with. And it's like, it made it hard for me trusting people, but it was just like this year, it's like, it's all or nothing. So I'm just trying to connect with the right people, um, break my stage fright and, you know, just help as many people as I can with my story and just, you know, teaching on healing and whatever it's like, whatever God got for me. I love it. I love it. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm, we are thrilled you're here, Nigella. And um, whoever invited you, you said it's not Nadia or Nada? Or something like that? I think so. I got to get, I got to get her name, but yeah, I got to get her name. And when I, I do, I'll definitely send it to you. No, I can look it up because uh, admin, I can look it up and I'm going to also get you information on our Academy because man, you got to be in the Academy. If uh, okay. going on here, the Academy is like this on steroids. So um, <laughs> how do we, how do we support you? What can we do to, I know you want to connect with people. Um, who do you need to be connected with specifically? Anybody that like, if I get, like, if I could get a great mentor to help me on speech, you know, how to actually structure my words, because that's one thing I noticed too. Um, when I do talk, like now it's kind of slowing down, but I was everywhere, but it, like, I've been like, I've been on my own. So I'm doing everything. So I'm trying to unlearn some things that I've been doing, but if I could get the, like the right mentor or somebody that's, that's willing, like I'm definitely down for it. Okay. Okay, well, there's definitely some really cool people in this group that I can't do that at all, but <laughs> there is some cool people in this group that can absolutely help you. Right? It's like, it's like, Michelle, it's like, like, uh, get in your lane and stay in it and know your, know, or know your lane and stay in it. You know that from driving. So, uh -oh. is that Siri helping you out? Oh no, that's my tablet uh, letting me know that I was still in drive. I had to put it on off duty. 
Oh, good. Well, we appreciate you being here. I'm going to tag you in this post. I'm going to send you the recordings. I'll shoot you information as well. And um, we're thrilled you're here. I'm going to make sure that some people see your interviews so that maybe there's someone that you could uh, could help you out with mentoring you and your stage presentation, as you said, your speaking and public speaking and that so that you could just fully rise up into your calling. Hey, I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, appreciate you're here. You got a great attitude. You're super positive. You're open. You're grabbing life by the by the steering wheel and saying, let's do this. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Okay, well, well, we'll chat soon. And thanks for being on the Empowered Eric TV. If you are seeing this and you have watched the cella and you feel called to re or led to reach out to her, please. Uh -oh, reach it to went her. blank. It went blank. Okay, well, no worries. Uh, yep. Okay, there you go. Uh, reach out to the cella, uh, friend or messenger. Uh, let her know what you appreciate about her being here. And you are uh, you are just a sunshine. You are a ray of sunshine. <laughs> So I appreciate all of y'all. Okay, we'll be chatting soon. All right, thank you. Ciao for now. <laughs>